All right, here we go. Uh, doing a it's gonna be a first look video, my first one, kind of. I've done kind I've done a few of these in the past, but this is gonna be the first one that I've done for a mud that I've never logged into. Um, only thing I've done so far is open up the web website for the mud. This is my thread on top mud sites, and I threw the idea out there. WW underscore Crimson responded and said, hey, it's a great idea. He wants people to log into his mod. So I'm going to log in and see what it's all about. I, I mean, from perusing their site, it looks like it's a pretty good PK mod. Uh, I don't know whether it's ROM, whether it's Circle mod. I'm sure it's based off of Daiki one way or the other. But, yeah, so I'm just going to log in, make a character, and play for a little while. We'll see how it goes. I mean, I don't know how long these videos should be. I'm thinking maybe something like... Um, 15 to 20 minutes tops, but um, I mean, we'll see. It, you know, it depends on how much you can get done in that time. So, uh, well, this is getting kind of screwy. I have a better idea here. I'm gonna have to edit this. Monitor capture on connect. Uh, we're just gonna do yes. Test, test, test. No. Color activated. Yes, of course. For PK mod, I always want to use color because it brings things out. It makes it easier to look at stuff. Which creation option do you choose? Enter the essentials of your character, gender, class, race. Game will decide the rest for you based on these choices. Recommended for new players. You will make all the choices, including the selection of initial skills, rolling dice, and assign them to stats. It's not recommended for new players. Well, since I'm trying to just get in game. Normally I would do the expert one, but I'm going to do normal. Male. Uh, assassin. Kills for money or thrills. Well, warrior is what I'm going to go with. Seems easy. Human, of course. Multiplay for details and exceptions. MXP is on. This looks like ROM. Yeah, this is either Circle Mud or ROM, I think. It doesn't really matter, but I'm quite familiar with this um, with this code base, so that's going to help me out a lot. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly what I'm doing here. Let's go north. Someone just accepted my name. Free to roam the mud. Inventory guide for newbies. Breastplate sword. Hub of the first wheel. Initiation features. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know all this stuff. Achievements, stances. So this is pretty, like, this is definitely not your average ROM mud because this is all stuff that I've never seen before on PK muds. Tattoos. I read a little bit about tattoos on the website. And we'll add bonuses to your stats. Seems just like kind of a wonky way of doing items. I and mean, that's all a tattoo really is, is an item. But Remort, Archon Estates, Mini Quests. Consider action. That's getting annoying. Music channel is off. Action. I know I've 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 seen consider before. Action. That's cool. So it like repeats the command. Show skill. Kick. Huh. That's interesting. I dig that. I dig that. And so, like, different races have, so there's kick. Different races have different, uh, or not different races, different classes have different maxes. So, Monk is the best kickers in the game, along with Ninja. Warrior gets at 95. That's pretty, uh, that makes sense. I like that. I like realism. <clears throat> 
auto list will give you a list of all actions that can be automated. Score? I haven't looked at my score yet, have I? Butcher and newbie. Can I change my title? I don't know. There we go. Uh, playback. If you missed part of your discussion, one of the public channels. Yeah, public. Page length zero, please. Oh, that's not a command. Hmm. I'm sure there is one around here somewhere for that, though. I don't like having the hit return to continue stuff on my thing. Race list shows stats. That's cool. Shows you how strong all the different races are. All right, let's get down to it. Before the gauntlet. Got it, got it. I already looked at that. Exit. Hub of the first wheel. All right, practice. Actually, train first because I might want to train my intelligence. Normally, your intelligence and your wisdom will decide like what uh, percentage your practices will increase the skill. Vitality, wisdom. You may still train. Okay. Yes, discipline. Cool. All right, practice. Here we go. Obviously, sword because I have a sword wielded right now, so I would want that to be seventy-five percent. Recall, I'm not too worried. Parry looks pretty important. Ah, you know what I would like here? So every time you, it'd be nice. This is really easy to code into. See how I practice? Parry, practice, parry. Every time I practice, I don't have to type practice again to see where it's at. It's real easy to just add in a, a function so that, or not even a function, it's just a, an integer where it'll show you the percentage that it switched to. So when I pra type practice, parry, it should increase it. Well, however many it's increasing it. So it increased it. 27, 40. I would like to see that 40 every time I type practice fairy. That's just a pet peeve of mine, though. So there we go. 40, all right, 53. Anything that makes it more efficient. And I think that's a really good uh, addition. One of the MUDs that I played a while ago uh, did that. They added that um, off of one of the uh, player's ideas that they should. Orcs Den. Orc, hello, you're going to die. So this is a kill type thing. SK all. There we go. Second attack at level two. Dodge at level five. I get kick eventually. M kills one. Unlocked. Well, that's weird. All right, let's wear his armor that we got because this is a newbie area. So obviously we're gonna want to wear all that stuff. To the north. Oh, it respawned already, huh? I already killed you, though. Do you have anything different? No, you don't. Uh, hot desert. Cowboy hat. Do I have a... Nope. On my... <clears throat> da 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 ETL, experience to level. Okay, got it. Mana, hit points. <clears throat> Achievements. Achievements shows your achievements. Achievements. Huh. It's 
So it gives you quest points, I'm guessing. Uh, achievements, rewards. Whoops. You get gold, experience, and quest points for achieving stuff. What the fuck is all this? Remorts, mob kills, quests completed. Age. I definitely get that P kill one. Where to go? I would definitely get that one eventually. I love P killing. Well, I used to anyway. I'm not too much into that anymore. Uh, wear hat. Map of Bastion. There you go. It sets with details of each plaza. It's blinking because it wants me to. Oh. Maybe not. El Castle Plaza? Yeah, there we go. Very cool. El Smullins. Yeah. Nice. Good good map. Pretty simple. ASCII. Oops. What's up? The Genesis shop? Sweet. Um a thermos. A thermos. <laughs> Luminescent sphere. I think I have one of those. Yeah. Why is that not yellow? See, that glowing should be yellow. That's weird. Color. Extended color. What the fuck? Okay. Let's buy a shield. Oh, do I don't have any gold? 50 silver. Shit. What if I can sacrifice? Sack corpse? Yeah! Old school, man. <laughs> Oops. Should be able to do that. Sacrifice all. So you could sacrifice everything in the room. That's another thing. Let's see. Oh, I got 30 gold in the bank. I can go get that out. I wonder if I could sell this stuff to him. Ah, sell all, come on. All the embraces. Oh yeah, I got plenty of gold plenty of gold now to buy the shield that I wanted. Where? Shield. Cool. I haven't leveled yet though. What the fuck? Second wheel, aha. Bring you some armor. Are you serious? What? I guess. Ugh, what the fuck? I'm guessing this is a freaking quest here that's gonna like give me something for doing this. Nice. I don't know what the difference is between applied and field. Field experience and real experience. Whenever you earn experience, you get some from both kinds. Real experience is what counts towards levels. Field is only temporary while your character absorbs what you earn. Each tick, field XP is converted to real XP. Okay. Okay, got it. So I guess I could just keep giving him armor if I wanted to, huh? Alright, Homer, you're dead. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's what I miss about mods like uh, PK mods that, you know, they have all these cool areas. Um, I'll bet you they have Alice in Wonderland on here. Disney, there you go. Anyway, um... A lot of these look familiar, actually. Uh, actually, Jurassic Island. Not really. It looks like they got rid of a lot of these standard areas. What did he give me? 213 and his shoes. Looks like they put on their own areas, which is good. Olympia. I, I remember that. Or Olympus. 
from standard like Mythdranor type stuff. And this is strange that the NPCs respawn so quickly. I hope it's it's not too crazy. Another homer? I don't need that many homers. This one respawns like every second. And what do you have? That many. <clears throat> anyway. Painting the town. Ooh, I just leveled up. Yeah. Of course I'm going to kill you, Napoleon. <clears throat> It's funny that they do that. They did a Napoleon quote. I'm guessing the reason they have these here is in case you have more than one player in the mud school fighting. So if you have one fighting this Napoleon, I don't think you can kill the same NPC. That's how they had that coded for this type of mud. So you have extra ones just in case someone else doesn't want to sit around and waiting for someone to kill that one. They can go kill their own. Hello, Thor. Let's see what you got for me. Hopefully your hammer. Oh, the girdle. That's cool. <laughs> Some of the descriptions are going to be funny, too. There's absolutely no in-character concern. What's the key for? Hmm. Key to the rafters. Ah, here we go. I went I accidentally went down a little too much and it put me at the city square, which is not where I want to be right now. Here we go. North, oh, open door north, cockroach. Funny commands. Ugh. Arc. Plan list. Bunch of cut. Okay, these are. So this is just a basic leveling area right now. Ooh, that has sanctuary cast on them. Nice. You've become better at sword. Very nice. <clears throat> I don't really have too much feedback. You know, another thing about this type of first look, being my first one, my first real one, is that I'm very familiar with this type of mud. So uh, I've I fall into it pretty easily. Um, in terms of uh, being able to understand like what the pro what the process is and what you should be doing, it's all about leveling. It's all about killing, questing, getting better equipment, grinding. Uh, no corpse. Oh, auto sack. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's why uh, I already know most of this stuff. Up in the rafters. Nah. They don't have any gear. I don't really care. Those are all the same. Thief. Phase. Aha, hello, thief. So I need to go practice and train. I gained a level, got some trains and pracs. I've gained two levels so far. 17. Thanks, 35 gold experience. Uh, swear the ring. I need to get another one. I think there's only two rings that can be worn. Pretty sure. Pet rock. 
Wish I had lore, damn it, and I could figure out what all this stuff does. Lore will actually identify the item and tell you like what it adds, what stats it gives and stuff. Where the fuck did that thief? I need to kill another one of the thieves. There he is. He respawned already. Bam! Neck. So I've got, yeah, two spots for rings. I have one more ring from this guy. And then I need to get floating nearby and held nothing. I wonder. Hello! That's a weird ring. One thing. Okay, let's kill this kid. I don't think that I can hold an item, have a sword and a shield at the same time. I don't think so. Maybe I can. So you have the shield strapped to this arm, and you're holding the pet rock or whatever in this hand, and you get, you get your sword. But, like, if I remember correctly, you can't do that. Pretty sure you have to either dual wield two weapons, hold one item, wield a weapon, or shield weapon. Let's find out. Ha! I was wrong. <laughs> interesting. So I guess I have three hands there. That's interesting. It's kind of OP, man. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You're using a held item without the focus skill? What the fuck? You're using a wrist shield without the wrist shield skill. Okay, this is interesting. A wrist shield. Wrist shield. Or a shield. So... Wrist shield. Skill for two minutes of holding a shield and still use a weapon in their offhand. They will suffer some penalty and their shield lock. Okay. Aha! So remove rock. EQ. Boom. It's not considered a wrist shield. If I hold the rock, that makes sense. Boom, it's considered a wrist shield. So the wrist, the shield that I would be holding in my hand is, whoop, is moved down. The arm to here, I can hold the rock and I can wield my sword. Makes makes sense. I dig it, man. I dig that. That's really cool. It's locked. Let's recall. The palace square. Let's see what level am I here. Level three still. I can go back up. That this this whole area will be blocked off to me once I get past level five. This is the newbie area, so I need to practice and train vitality. Practice shield. And again, I wish it would tell me every time how much it's going up. It's not that hard to put that in. Now learned. And why is there lag in between the practice? That doesn't make any sense either. Let's go ahead and max out our recall. Recall. What? Can't practice it. What the fuck? That's new. Used to be able to. I'll max out my second attack if I can. So, yeah. So far, the Vert is a pretty good PK game. I mean, there's been some surprises. It's not completely stock. It's got a lot of custom stuff on it. It's got some pretty custom rules. A few pet peeves here and there, mainly with the practicing. Like, I really would want to see how much it goes up each practice. Each time I type a practice, I don't have to... And then the lag on the practice command doesn't make any sense to me, but then maybe there's a reason for it. I don't know. I wonder if I can gain list up here. Gain list. Dude. Gotta go to the guild hall. That's fine. Lock north. Oh, unlock. Door north. Hmm. Where's Thor? I gotta kill him again. Oh. Uh, I'm almost leveled again. Good old. Oh no, okay. Drop gird. Sack it. Oh, dissolved in the smoke. Nice. Yeah, that makes sense. Fuck. Now I have second attack. It'd be much quicker. 
I wonder what, fo okay, focus. Uh, focus. Skilled magic users have learned to focus their powers when casting combat spells. When holding an object, the focus is intensified no matter what the object. A good magic user can elicit magic power from anywhere. Focus. Warriors do not get the skill. All right. I killed the ghost. Does he have anything for me, though? A noose. Sweet. That's kind of weird. <laughs> Auto dam. Wait a minute. Auto. Auto. Oh, it fell because he disappeared, so it didn't loot it. There we go. So one more noose and I'll be pretty good, much good to go, like venturing out into the world. And man, my, my EQ is way too low. That's what it's telling me anyway. Ah, there you are. Yeah, I'm probably going to head to another area. Um, let me check the site. There was a really good uh, like little thing on here. Map centers. Item level. Oops, map centers. Here we go. Min. Nice. And I like how you can sort this, because that would be really annoying. Bastion. I think that's where I'm at right now. Disney, four north, south east. Perfect. Perfect. Let's go to Disney. Recall. Two, three, four, south east. I'll come to Disney World. <laughs> oh, I'm ready to kill some motherfuckers. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse ears. One on head. <clears throat> You'd think Minnie Mouse would join the fight. Apparently not. This is a low level area though, you don't want to be too crazy with it. Like those, some areas you'll have four or five uh, NPCs in one room and or mobs in one room and they'll all assist each other and it's like, holy shit. That's usually for higher level areas. More than likely, yeah, the ears are way better. Let's get rid of the hat. Oh, it dissolved in the smoke because it's crap. Oops. Gonna kill you too, bitch. This is gonna be a good area for like uh, just continuing my XP gain. I'm not gonna get much more in the newbie area, so I'm just moving on to like the lowest level area that I can find. And I'm glad that they have the directions. That makes it much easier. And this is also gonna get me some really decent, uh, some decent equipment. And I really, really like how it has this equipment 26. So I know I can just without having lore or the identify spell, I can swap gear and know that I'm getting better gear than you know what I should have. Your mind is becoming overwhelmed with new information. I wonder what that means. You get a hovercraft. Goofy hovercraft. Hold. He was definitely using something. Held a goofy hovercraft. Can't weird wear. Well, that's weird. Um, what was I saying? Can't even remember. Oh, I was looking at your alignment slips. Your mind is becoming overwhelmed with new information. Your alignment slips. When you are evil, vampiric weapons don't alter your alignment. So this is cool. I like how alignment matters. Overwhelmed. How about this?
Ah, there we go. So this is the this is they're doing. I, I like the area because they're gonna do like all the different Disney characters. I got what I needed, and they're like continuing to give me information. I guess that's kind of a good thing, but that's all I needed to know. It's related to field XP. Suit. Oh, type too fast. All right. <clears throat> yeah, these items are way better than the shit that I was using. Can't kill her. But I'm gonna guess. Hmm. Whatever. <clears throat> I thought it was gonna be some potions there. Dumbo, what you got for me? <coughs> Magical feather. Yeah, I heard that stupid rock. 70%, not too bad, not too bad. You can find better equipment at the Pirate's Lair or the Palace Square Shops. That is really cool too, I didn't even notice that. The Pirate's Lair, is that an area? Hmm, Pirate's Lair, the 1 to 10. So maybe I shouldn't even be in Disney. Maybe I should just go straight to the Pirate's Lair. That's what it's telling me. Pirate's Lair, 3 south, east south, east south. 1, 2, 3, east south, east south. Cool. Oh, hold my breath. What the fuck? Sucks. Damn it. It's locked. Shouldn't be able to see what's to the east through a fucking door. Need to fix that. A whip. I don't need a whip. I need a sword. I'll get that key though. <laughs> the captain's yelling uh, through the area. That's only going to go to the area, I think. Shout goes everywhere. Shouts and demands to all the way players in the world. Yells and demands to all the way players in your area, but it's not quite a delay. This guy's taking a while to kill. Do I even have kick yet? Uh, I have dodge. I need to practice that. All right, so two of the keys. Well, I'll get rid of one of them. Right, guardsman's whip. I wonder why it's white. Come on, where's the gear that I was promised? Yeah. This is a test of a thing. I gotta practice some new. Uh, to use these weapons, I need to practice them, so I need to go back to my guild hall and practice. But I'm getting pretty close to finishing this because there's not much more else to say here. 
But I'm impressed, that's for sure. I'm definitely impressed with the game. In terms of it being a good PK mod, I'm sure it is. Ooh, tattoo ink. This is the... So, where ink... What the fuck? Help tattoo. Tattoos. Magic tattoos can be bought at the tattoo shop. So I wonder what the ink is for. I gotta bring him the ink so I can get the tattoo, maybe? Maybe that's what it is. Let's recall. And I need to go to my... Let's just use the map. Uh, Ranger Guild. No, Warrior. No, Stuart. Fighter Guild. There we go. South. So it should be Southwest. Southwest. Um, I was at Palace Square, right? Stuart Plaza, Pal Paladin's Way, Southern Palace Square. Ah, Paladin's Way. Okay. Stuart Plaza is gonna be west along the Tower Road, where the walls meet. What the fuck? Oh, fuck is Stuart Plaza? You son. Here we go, Stuart Plaza, southwest. Or not, <laughs> Stuart Plaza. It's West Fountain to South Fountain. This is kind of confusing me. Ah, Warriors Guild West, okay, whatever. <laughs> Found it! Gymnasium, where the fuck is the trainer? There we go. Let's check my gain list out. Yeah! Alright, cool. Cool. Martial arts, don't care. <sighs> Word of recall, dual wield. Gonna need to get that. It costs 10. Holy shit. I have to save up for it. Enhanced damage. I really. Man, I should have fucking just did the uh, advanced creation. I would have had better skills. Practice dodge. How many practice sessions do I have? This is actually getting a little crazy. I need to go ahead and log off. I got stuff I gotta do. But it's so fun! <clears throat> Plenty of practices left. Uh, what's the conversion? Gain, convert. How about just gain? Gain convert turns 10 into 1. Yep. Well, we're gonna do that. Gain list gain. Do I have bodyguard? No. Shield bash. Brawl. Round swing. Chop. Uppercut. Two hand weapons. Fast healing. Hmm. Shit's expensive. Fuck me. Uh, oh, hello. That's so nice of you. Um, uh, let's see. Leg sweep. I don't think I can afford any of this stuff, actually. Uh, refresh. I would like to get enhanced damage, but it is fucking expensive. Twelve. I'm nowhere close. Nowhere close. I have to save my training sessions because, I mean, I still have vitality. This is a choice you have to make at this point. I have to choose whether I want to train the rest of my stats or start saving my trains up so I can get the skills that I know I'm going to need. And I have no idea. <laughs> no idea what I'm supposed to do here. But um, uh, there should be a healer around here somewhere. Oh, damn, dude. Let me sack that shit. Oh, it's a player's corpse. Pink lemonade. Heck yeah. Um, I'm tempted to go to a really tough area to see what it's like. So, Serene Desires, Bloodfest 98, Crystal Coast, JROTC, 3 North, 2 West North. Let's do that. 
Oops. Okay, let's see. A saber. Yeah. I'm going to get my ass cooked. Nice. Perfect match, yeah, right. I'm glad I practiced dodge skill, because that's definitely going to help. <clears throat> That's weird. I wonder why Dodge says 75 and then next to it in parentheses it says 72. That's strange. Hmm. Help skills. First number is how much you are practiced, up to 100. The second number is how effective you are with your ability overall based on class maximum and race skills. Very cool. So there's a little bit more going on behind the scenes than you'd think. So my, my dodge is actually getting worse. Maybe because my HP is going down, I'm guessing. Like my second attack is a little worse now too. As well as sword and shield block, they're they're lower. So I'm wondering if in combat it lowers as you get your stuff goes down. You have an evil thought. Oh yeah, I'm killing shit. That's so cool that your alignment changes from that. <clears throat> I got a decent amount of XP from that too. I dig it. All right, so let's check the skills again. No, it didn't go up. Gone down. What the heck? Our reduced ah due to injury. It says it right there. I'm I'm blind. Um, a saber. Wield that shit. Oh, gotta be level 15. Damn it. I'm level 6. Alright, let's recall. Can I go up? Oh, can't go up anymore. Uh, I need to heal. I'm sure there's a healer around here. And the healer should be close to the recall. Draxel's temple, I'm guessing. Maybe Smote's temple. Quirky's. Who was I sacrificing my stuff to? Maybe that's where I need to go. Is that Rimball? Rimball. Rimball. Quirky, cardiac. Cardiac. Let's take, I haven't looked at the whiz list yet, have I? Whoa! There's only four staff on the mud? That's crazy, dude. That's kind of funny. Anyway, that's Archon. That's Archon mud. That's my first look. Um, I got up to level 6, which is pretty good in, what, like 30 minutes? If that, I don't know how long I'm going to edit this down to, but I'm going to quit now. Save. I actually might come back and play. Who knows? But I have homework to do, so that's right here. <laughs> but <clears throat> pretty good. Pretty good mud overall. I think uh, if you're looking for a good PK mud, I would definitely check it out. Uh Looks like it has a lot of features, a lot of content. In terms of like yeah, time uh, invested, it's going to take a while to get to max level. I mean, you can power level through, but you're going to have an evil alignment. Not sure how easy it is to get uh, to get that to go away if you want to be neutral. Because there's a lot of items you won't be able to use if you have the evil alignment. Those alignment restrictions on a lot of items usually. <clears throat> but thanks for watching. That is my first look for Archon Mud.